Are you an AI curious or AI enthusiast person who's looking for better ways to create images of yourself using AI? Have you been disappointed with the apps out there that give you little to no control over the output you're getting? Well, if you wanna take your face and turn it into photos like this, using AI. Yes, that's right. You can give yourself a digital AI photo shoot. Woo! You can use these photos wherever you need photos, I guess. For me, it would be YouTube thumbnails, including the thumbnail I used for this video. But I'm going to show you how easy it is to create your own custom AI photo shoot with your face that looks super realistic like you and do it inside of Magi using Flux Laura. Now, what is Magi, you might ask? I'll talk more about it after the tutorial, but essentially Magi is a tool that takes all the most popular AI image generation tools and LLMs such as Claude, ChatGPT, Gemini, and so many more. And for one very low price, you're gonna get access to all of it. So it saves you a ton of money. And if you're an AI person, or even if you're just a business person or content marketer, and you can't decide which tool, or maybe you're paying for all these tools, you can use Magi. So let's jump into the tutorial. Let me show you how to train your AI photographer, otherwise known as Flux Laura, and you will start getting fantastic photos that actually look like you, saving you money, saving you time, and they're absolutely fantastic, especially for YouTubers who need these photos for thumbnails. So without further ado, let's get into it. You wanna learn how to make these awesome photos. So what we're gonna do is go to generate an image, and you're gonna go over here, you're gonna choose your model. We want Flux Laura. Now there's a lot of fluxes in here, so look for this one. Flux Laura, that's the one we want. The first time you come in here, you're not gonna see all this information. You're gonna see a button that says something like show information. It's, I believe, a blue button. And you'll click on that and you'll go through the steps that I'm about to show you. But if you wanna create an additional one, which I'm going to do to show you how it's created, then what you're going to do is click right here where it says Laura, and we are going to train a new Laura. This is gonna take a lot of your token, so keep that in mind but you only have to do the process once unless you wanna create additional Lauras, which I'm doing right now. You're gonna name your Laura. This Laura I'm gonna call Kelly underscore glasses because most of the photos have glasses. The trigger word is important. You want it to be unique. This is something you're gonna use in your prompt, which we'll see in a moment. That's how the AI Laura is gonna know where to draw inspiration from. So I'm gonna call this one Kelly glasses 24 seven. Do you wanna do in style or create a mask? If you're doing faces, you wanna do create a mask. That's what we're gonna do. Number of steps, I'm gonna put this to 2000. I wouldn't suggest going higher. I'm gonna keep it to 2000. And then we're gonna upload a zip drive. This is where you wanna put some photos. Now you'll see here, I have several photos. I did 16 photos with different backgrounds. I tried to do a blank background in my first set of photos. I did my background in my office and every single photo was the background of my office. I swear that Laura Creates has something to do with the background of my office. You do want to either have a blank background or diversify your background. Most of these photos also have me with my glasses. I have yet to try training with my glasses on. Most of my pictures were without. In the last one, I did a couple without, so uh, the AI could recognize my face. You could see I have varying degrees of facial expressions. I did 16 photos. You should do a minimum of 10 and create a zip file. So once you have your zip file, we will go in here, and I think mine is ready to go. We're gonna drag and drop or upload, and we will wait until it is uploaded. Once you are ready to rock, we're gonna do create Laura. Now, this is going to take a little while, so since I'm impatient and I don't feel like waiting for that particular training, we're just gonna use the training I did yesterday. I went to my Flux Laura and we have here Kelly. The one we just created is pending, but I have this one that is ready. The trigger word for Kelly is Stellar Kelly. And so we would copy that. You would just click on this and it would put it in here. But I have a prompt that I already wrote to keep our job easy. Professional headshot of the person known as Stellar Kelly. You see that's my trigger word with blonde hair, and let's put me in a black sweater with blue jeans. Standing in front of graffiti in Austin, Texas. High quality studio portrait photograph taken with a Canon EOS R5 using an 85 millimeter F1.2 lens. Focus on sharp detail and vibrant colors. Now, obviously this is just one prompt out of so many options. And I can show you a couple of things that I have done, but 
We're going to do this. I'm going to keep it square, but you can absolutely do landscape, which is great for your YouTube video thumbnails, just saying, but we're going to keep it square for now. And we have advanced options, interface steps. I actually never touch this, but I do like to touch the prompt guidance. I like to go slightly higher. I just find that the results sometimes are a little bit better in the four to four and a half range. We're going to go with four and then click generate. Let's see what comes up. Will it look like me? I don't know. It's always a mystery, isn't it? When we're using AI. Hey, now that definitely looks like me. So there I am, my AI photo. It's got the graffiti. It's very well lit, just like I asked. Lots of cool things. So let me show you some of the photos that I was able to create with this prompt. So there's this one here. This is another prompt that I used. I actually really like this one. I'm going to use this one in a thumbnail. You can see Stellar Kelly with blonde hair, styled neatly, black sweatshirt, jeans, standing confidently, pointing. I really like that image. I'm going to end up using it. But you could see I also did. Let's go back. I had some fun with it. We have this one where I was in the city. Same prompt as this one. I don't think I made much changes. I just redid it. So you could see I'm pointing. But I don't know. That finger looked a little weird to me. Here's another one I did similar to the one I showed you, but this time I wore a white t-shirt. You see how graphic these are? That's because of the style. Sharp detail, artistic. You have to play around with different types of prompts, whereas this one looks way more natural. You can see here I'm using a Canon EOS R5 candid photo. I like to put blonde hair. I'll show you why if I can find the photo of why I prefer to say blonde hair, because this is what I got at one point. It gave me brunette hair. This one is super cool. Look at this one. I did the whole thing in here. It says Stellar Kelly wearing a black shirt with vividly printed YouTube logo, posting center frame, smiling confidently, pointed to her left at a large sign that reads AI chatbot for YouTube. I only had to do this once and look how nice that looks. This is the same prompt, but this time we're going to do it with Kelly glasses. So let's copy this and paste it where it says Stellar Kelly. Let's try it with glasses. This makeup is very consistent with the makeup I wear. That's funny. It makes sense because all those photos were taken with the same makeup look. Look at that. Those really look like my glasses. That's kind of crazy. Compare it to some of my photos where I have these glasses. You can see the eye makeup that I told you about and we have my glasses. Because I trained it with my glasses, this is the best I've seen with creating AI images with glasses. If you wanna check this out, you can get 30% off any of the packages that Magi offers using my special link, which I will link below, but it's magi.co forward slash Kelly. That's with a Y, K-E-L-L-Y. You get 30% off your first three months. Packages start at $19 a month. I personally pay for the professional account, which is $29 a month, and I get a ton out of it. So if you're just starting, I would recommend the $29 package. You get all the LLMs for all the type of content you wanna write. You have folders so everything can be organized. Plus you have the Flux Laura and many more image generators to play with. So check it out at magi.co forward slash Kelly. It saves you 30% for your first three months. So I hope that you check it out. If you've tried Magi or better yet, if you've tried Flux Laura to do your own AI photos, let me know how it turned out. What did you think? And let me know if you have any questions. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share this one. This is a good one. People are going to want to see it. And thanks so much for watching. I will catch you in the next video.